Hello everyone, my name is Total Mass Destruction and welcome back to Steven Universe Unleash the Light. Last time we defeated a warship, this time we're in um we're, we're in the Palace of Light, which I'm planning on maybe finishing today. But before we do run around the castle and just get lost and all sorts of jazz, I want to say thank you to a few comments. Um first comment comes up right off the bat. Uh basically what they're asking is for me to play uh, the battles out more. Um, they want me to show battles more, so I can try and do that more. <laughs> but this comment specifically says, when I unlock the last area, which I believe is the black hole, uh, which after the story mode, so this guy has answered my question, I need to beat the game, which I'm pretty sure we all knew at this point. Uh, I would like if you left in more fighting, the fighting complete, which means yes, I can. Uh, the way I record these episodes, are hours at a time and then I edit it down into a 15 to 20 minute video however with the black hole being a separate type of breed because this is kind of like open world go around and do certain things to unlock certain things and get to the end of the game I believe the black hole is more of a you can do it better and better and better and better which means you can probably play it multiply or mul multiple times I don't know why I said multiply that's not a word uh, so yeah I might make the episodes a bit shorter but they might be the full episodes for just the black hole. So I can absolutely do that if you want to see them. I don't see why not. Yeah, I can go ahead and absolutely leave in more fighting. The second comment here uh, basically says, so there's puzzles on uh, the Peridot level, Hesedite's Worship. And I was making a joke a lot as I completed the puzzles. Hey, uh, these are pretty easy. Well, I got a comment saying, yeah, you're, their puzzles are pretty easy with Connie. How about try it with just Steven? And, uh, yeah, I was joking, man. Those puzzles suck. But you didn't see is the minutes I just sat there going, ah. So, and they were fun. They were just, uh, a bit too challenging for certain things. Oh, it has been a minute. It has been a minute since I played this game. I'm not going to lie. Uh, it's been about at least a weekend. This is coming out on Tuesday. I'm recording it on Monday. <laughs> and, uh, whoops. That was, that was not good. That was bad. Ba -ba 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 -bong. Look at that. If I drop a Starford, I probably actually finish this fight with ease. No, e no issue, no issue. Uh, oh, and I don't know when this happened. Because I think I would have seen it last episode. But when did Connie pass 100 life? She's at 101. I don't remember when that happened. I need water. Dude's stunned. He's going to miss. He didn't miss. Dude, come on. You gotta show me up like this? Easy. I can just, you know, I know pop. You can do it. Let's, uh, just smash this guy. Finish this battle and obviously unlock the big door behind me because it really wants me to unlock that big door. Uh, you know what? You know what? Uh, Paradot levels up. You know what? We'll unlock that door in a second. What's this way? Oh, just vases. All right, you know what? We'll unlock the door. Right now. Ooh, we're down to six. We gotta be getting close. White chroma, very nice. Don't think I need much of it, but sure. Nothing. Oh, dude, we're down to four. <laughs> Open this chest. What do we get? A lot of uh, star points. A belt. And, and two belts for amethyst. Okay. We're down to four. Oh, five with the red key, of course. You know, you can't forget the red key right into battle what's going on guys <laughs> let's stun the dude at top let's just pop a star fruit again come on me do better first of all just bit bop boom there it is gotta get back into the flow kind of forgot how to play the game we got a lucky which i think is a badge i don't know i don't know if she has the uh, electricity Oh, look at me out here. I'm learning. I'm getting better. Uh, and then if I... Find it. Hold on. I'll find it. There it is. I don't think we'll get the full thing back, but we will get pretty damn close. Look at this wife. I... Dude, Lapis is great in this game. For just her old. Just her old. Oh, I have to end my turn. I forgot. Bonk. Ooh, no, he's attacking Steven. How will we ever fight this? 
Dang. He has a chance to miss now. It'd be really funny if he missed. <coughs> Be really funny if his robot didn't exist, though. Kaboom! And the dude's out of here. And we got our friendship bracelet back. Bam! What a good game! Alright. Ooh, Jess, kind of, uh. Kind of looking good. Another level up idol! That's insane. Alright, that wedding armor. She has wedding armor now, huh? Armor made for a very special occasion. It's just as functional as fancy. That looks like the Pearl's wedding armor, but sure. And an anvil. We're getting business stuff. Is this orange chroma? Well, I know where to go for orange chroma. Which I'm gonna believe whatever this is probably needs orange chroma. Is it a costume? That's not a costume. That's a badge. Star cap badge. 10 to 12. Nah. I'm good though. Don't really need that. Oh, look. Pictures of pyro. Very nice. What's over here? Oh, it's just like the orange stuff. But pink. Do another, another, the leaf. Okay, thank you. Whoa! Hold on, Gin Rejuvenator. This device weapon can be used to reset a gym back to its kindergarten default. Ho! Oh. <laughs> this, as many of you know, is the weapon Spinelli uses. It increases Connie's attack, so she's gonna use it, which is kind of gross to me. I don't, I think in the movie, Steven doesn't know what this is. But if we're using it in this game, because they really try very hard to line up these games um, to actually be lore in a way, uh, which kind of makes it not cool because if Connie has one as a charm and then Steven's like, I don't know what this does. And then Pearl explains it and all that. That seems kind of uh, fetchy. But then again, don't take everything to heart because it's a game. How about that? So I'm actually concerned if the gym juvenator, if the gym ju, ju oh, the gym juvenator is in the game, this brings me to my next question, which I always forget to bring up since Connie and Lion have been added. We have seen DLC added to the game that's added characters. I mean, Peridot and then Connie and and Lion, but Connie is a human, and the reason I thought they weren't Connie wasn't in the in this game was because. Every other character is Jim, except for Steven, but he's part Jim. So I was like, oh, it's like a space adventure. Uh, maybe, I don't know, humans can't be there. But then when Connie shows up, that kind of defies the purpose, right? Like, it's kind of like, oh, well, now it's all all fair, all, all is fair. We're getting, we're getting yoinked. Um, all is fair now, because everything's fair game. So does that mean we could see another DLC in the future that adds Greg? Because, personally, I'd like to have Greg back. I don't think they're going to add Greg because, you know, bummer. But I, I always did like Greg. I liked him. He was out there. He was doing stuff. He was, you know, I used him in the previous game. Kind of a bummer. He's not in this game. I, I, I really, really wanted Greg. Anyway, but yeah, we can absolutely see that. And with the Gym Rejuvenator, my question is, I know it doesn't make sense because this game is technically before the movie, but can we end up seeing Spinel in this game? Maybe we won't see it as, I don't know, a character or playable character, but is there a way for it to be like a quote unquote time skip in the game to where it's after the movie and we can go to like the garden? Because that would be pretty cool in my opinion. I think that would be very unique and uh, pretty uh, dope in a simpler terms. Stop giving me stuff. What's up with this curtain? Time out. What's going on here? Hold on. Why? <laughs> this curtain's looking suspicious. Does this curtain look suspicious to anyone else? What's going on behind that curtain? Get get Oz out of there. He's on a green screen playing with fog. What's going on? <laughs> oh. All right. Now that I dispatched of those guys. Seriously, what's What's going on with this? New charm. Oh, golf quest. Just that's it. I got quantum pizza. Now you're just gonna go golf quest. And it's not even good. You gave me garbage. Outstanding. Thanks, game. It's really cool. How do I disenchant? Oh, I have to press A. I'm. Why was I thinking pressing X? I was trying to press X for some reason. Can I not do anything with this curtain? Like this curtain is. Look at the floor. Yo, there's something behind there. You can't lie to me, dude. Is it something with the paintings? 
Now I don't want to go back. There. Oh, red key. Oh. All right. It's Proto Man, everyone. Proto Man. Am I Hess Knight? For the sake of George, aka Proto Man. Uh huh. Yep, I agree. Your favorite covert companion is here mm -hmm. with a tip so amazing, you'll just want to shatter. I can't help but notice. First of all, that's great. Second of all, she says co covert as if she's hidden. She's just wearing a scarf. Second off, she basically said the equivalent to, of Jim's of the human slang of you'll find something so amazing, you'll just want to die. But since it's a kid's game, they did the gym version, but shatter, which is awesome. You may want to sit down for this. Well, we don't got chairs, and Peridot's floating, so... It's... Ah, Pyro. <laughs> Hello, Pyro. Uh, you've got to be kidding. Right? You're all still here. <laughs> That's surprising. Are you, are you nervous? Are you behind this red door? Is that what's going on? You looking yes, scared. No, we're Oh, Demantoid! Good to see you! Awesome! Are you in there too? What's wrong with Demantoid? Alright. I would say Pyro would be younger, uh, mind-wise than Demantoid. Uh, although I, I'm sure we're going to discover that they're 8,000 years old. But sure. No, 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 that's, that's not Hessenite, don't, shut up, that's, uh, p uh Proto Man. Okay. Does, does Pyrope not know that that's Hessenite? Is that what's going on? Hey, don't watch us. Whoa! Come on now. Okay. Now where were we? Good question. I don't remember. Uh, yes, my incredible revelation. Oh. Are you ready? Sure. Yes. Hit us with it. During the rebellion, there were okay. rumors the crystal gems created a mighty weapon to contain the prisons. Yes, we got them. We got we got a box. Supposedly it was some sort of powerful box. Yep. If you find that, you might be able to stop them. Great. You don't say. We already have one. Cool. Good to know. Yep. Yep. Is that it? No need to thank me. Okay. All right. Bye bye. Oh, and that's it. You don't even give us a gift this time. She's gone. Well, I'm just gonna go downstairs. Oh! Oh, it's the final door. I'm out of keys. That's all the keys! I've unlocked every door! Alright, cool. What's over here? Oh, loot. Give me something good. Oh, they did give me some. Well, they gave me okay. Whoa, wait a minute, what was that? Hold on, I was smashing it. A dog nut! A tasty hot dog slash donut combo served exclusively at the Big Donut. Lion is a fan. And I would wear it if it had better defense instead of luck. But, uh... It's one of those that I don't know if I'm going to disenchant. It's kind of very cool. I do like it. Pop, pop. Hey, a warp pad. Oh, we're coming up. We're coming up undone. All right, we'll just move that over. And then uh, we'll move that. Oh, we got to move them all over. That's my fault. Hold on, move this over. Pull that up. Okay, hold on. Move this over. Boom. What is this going to give us? Uh, odds are, purple key. Was I right? What's going on? Hey, purple key! Unless I was gonna get the purple key through the red door, I figured it would be there. All right. <clears throat> purple key, unlock. Hey, what's going on in here? What's this chest gonna contain? Ooh, I forgot we even have costumes. Steven's costume. Is that? All the costumes? Let's go through this red door. Oh, keys are the key, you see. Unlock every light barrier in the palace. Ooh, are we coming up to the boss? The answer is yes. Uh, we're missing a s one secret now. 
there's the final chest. Hey, a badge. Where starts the pa battles with the armor pack? Open the other chest. Hey, four. A diamond uke, which I won't use. Evil Bear 3, Bear Wolves. Widely considered to be one of the worst of the Evil Bear movies, but the practical efforts used are still impressive. At least Lapis thinks so. Oh, that's pretty cool. And Steven. I don't know why I said... I... Anyway, this chest got some loot in it. Back over here, Jasper's belt and a big hammer. Cool. Is that everything? Whoa, we're just missing the boss. We're literally just missing the boss. Okay. Um, also, someone pointed out... Oh, I don't have it anymore. I threw it away. Well, first of all, let's disenchant a bunch of stuff and get some charm up. Uh, someone pointed out that she had a manga called Koala Princess, I believe? And it was technically a reference to OKKO. OK I believe the same guy that earlier that said those puzzles are hard, eh? Try them with just uh, Steven. I believe he said it. Uh, Koala Princess is based off a character from OKKO. OK and it's based off a character, I forgot her name because I don't watch OKKO. OK but I do know that Rebecca Sugar, the owner, uh, or owner, the creator of Steven Universe, I believe is friends with the owner of OKKO. OK I haven't checked it out, but I always wanted to. So I might actually end up checking that out in the future. Um, but yeah, so Koala Princess apparently is from that. So that's pretty cool. I'm leaving that for Pearl. Pull this one out. And all we got left is Steven, which takes one of everything. He's taking our final red. Majority of our yellow. <laughs> Go ahead. All right, so we're going to need to gather up some chroma for Connie because I'm worried Connie's going to need red or orange or yellow. So, uh, for those of you who don't know, I accidentally made costume three a while ago. So, the new one is costume two, which her first costume is her newest one. Her, for her third costume is her old skin. And her second costume is... Her kind of in the middle, which is majority of what she wore. Which, I kind of like that one the most. Uh, I kind of do like that one. I like this one because of her little jacket, but I definitely like that one because, uh, yes. And this one is probably was able to, ooh. Yeah, that's kind of, that's kind of poo-poo. Yep. Amethyst! Wow. I don't know if I looked at anything from you. She doesn't have a perk whip, so no, I haven't. Superstar Swip! When Amethyst defeats an enemy with her attack, or whip attack, it's guaranteed to drop star point, which is really cool. And undercooked, after being poofed, Amethyst will always automatically reform after two player turns. That's kind of sad. It's very overpowered, but very sad. We're going to leave that on. Her second costume is her previous costume. And her third costume is her uh, original. Ooh, I do like that one. Love is Hello, amazing. Garnet. What do you got? I see that we haven't done anything. What is this? Future vision. When Garnet uses her counterattack stance, any ally of hers is 75 transfers. Oh, so she'll get attacked if her friends are hurt but the damage is multiplied by 50? Ooh. And made of love. Garnet now regenerates a small amount of... Oh, that's really good. Actually, leave that on. Going to assume the uh, second costume is the previous one. There it is. Okay. Very cool. I have to say I like one so far because the visor... Um, what was what was Garnet's old like first outfit? I don't remember. Okay, let's check it out. It's the cotton candy outfit. Uh, actually, we're going to leave the cotton candy outfit on. I love this. This is awesome. Uh, and that's all here. So then all we need is bismuth. Because of our decisions where we chose the box rather than saving bismuth, and then she got poofed, she starts off with her diamond armor, and then when she gets poofed, she reforms back with her old stance. I guess all we had to do was find the second one to make it. So her perk for the second outfit is Armor Smith. Bismuth begins every battle with an armor pack. Oh, cool. And what is this? Bismuth at 20% of finishing the forge. We're going to leave that on. And her second outfit is... Oh, her just apron outfit. Oh, okay. I see. I like it because it shows off the star, which is gone now, and I'm kind of bummed out. But I like the overalls more. Uh, but there's no star on it. We're gonna leave her in armor. Definitely. Now, my hunch for a while ago was that his third outfit is the outfit he's currently wearing, but is Steven Universe future rather than the Steven Universe movie. Meaning, he'll still have his jacket, 
but his shirt, instead of being blue and yellow, will be black and yellow, because that's what he had in future. But what is this? The first time Steven is defeated in battle, he will automatically revive with low health. That's really good, but I like the extra pockets. And of course, his final outfit is... Wasn't expecting this. It's, his, it's the pink diamond outfit, which is really amazing. So we have Steve, young Steven, Steven Future, or Steven the movie, which the movie comes after the diamond outfit because the diamond outfit's in the Diamond Days series. We got the mini series. But I do like this more because I just I just like that jacket and I love the cyan mixed with the star. I like that a lot. The red's okay. My favorite color is red, but I do like this the most. So without further ado, thank you guys so much for watching this lame video because we didn't even make it to the boss fight. But we did 100% the whole temple pretty much. All we got left is the boss fight. So again, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, please leave a like and subscribe. Leave a comment. If I see it, I'll bring it up and talk about it in the next episode. And I will see you in that episode. So bye!